So starting the test drive in this Tahoe LS, I like all the standard features that you still get with the base level trim. You still have the, the forward distance indicator. You still have the automatic high beams. You still have those AutoSense wipers. And then you still have the wireless CarPlay Android Auto compatibility. But I like that we get the nine passenger setup here for holding up to eight additional passengers along with the driver. Now the 5.3 has enough pep, I think, for most people. The 6.2, especially with the performance package, if you get an RST Performance Edition, that thing scoots. But the 5.3, again, still has plenty of power for most individuals. If you're not used to it or you don't just want to have the, the quickest vehicle you can buy in a Tahoe, you're not going to miss it. Let's go ahead and give it some throttle here. So it didn't floor it. This only has four miles on it. Just wanted to give it a little pull. Again, for just average merging onto the highway, it did a pretty good job there. We have the standard cruise here. But on the smaller 20s, I was driving a couple Suburbans with 22s, just trying to compare everything, at least in the large SUV segment from GM today. This does ride a bit better in terms of just not being able to feel it in the floor and in my hands as much, but the overall comfort and quality is about the same. So very impressed, again, overall, just by how this thing is handling right now. And it's nice that you get up to 20 miles per gallon highway with this two wheel drive model, but then you can still tow up to 8,200 pounds. And just with it being a, a four wheel drive model, it's still pretty expensive, I think for what it is, but you get so much, so I really can't even complain. Now again, 63,000 is a a relatively expensive SUV, even in this segment, if you compare it to just a normal Expedition, a Wagoneer, heck, an Armada. But prices are starting to come down just a tad, just because the, the market is starting to settle out with interest rates rising. Kind of the EVs are starting to, to plummet. Escalades are still bringing a ton of money. You know, the expensive SUVs that are getting 15 miles per gallon are still bringing a ton of money. But for the average consumer, and I think this is still an average consumer vehicle because it's not the top of the line $90,000 Tahoe, I think you can get a, a pretty good deal on one of these if you look hard enough. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're looking for just getting the best price in your area, wherever that may be, or if you want to just compare, definitely check out my new car quotes link below and you can just kind of see what everybody's offering there without having to go to all these dealerships and haggle. But this has a lifetime powertrain warranty from Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro. And again, I like everything that you get here, although it is expensive. You have to remember you have a full four wheel drive system nine passenger seating you have two three-pronged plug-ins for household objects still have dual zone climate controls and you still have something that'll tow up to 8200 pounds so for a lot of people that's the stuff that really counts what really matters and again with the market the way it is you can probably find one a bit cheaper without having to pay the sticker price But I mean, the cloth seats are very comfortable, I think. The ride quality is still there. This is just a little less luxurious Tahoe compared to the top of the line. But again, not something that you'll miss unless you just want to have leather, heated, cooled seats, adaptive cruise, so on and so forth. 
So with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Chevy Tahoe in the LS trim level.